Hey guys, Jeff Malott here with Woodman and Systems Kayak Fishing and YakFishArkansas.com. I'm going to do a quick overview of how I've got my new Wilderness Systems Attack rigged up for fishing. Uh, there's a lot you can do with this boat. I'm going to go over how I've set it up uh, hopefully give you some good ideas. Okay, to start with, I'm going to start up here at the front of the boat. I haven't really done anything to modify this yet, but uh, right here at the front you can see it's got a nice sturdy handle. Uh, I'm going to rig a drag rope there if I take this thing in the river or need to just tie it off to the bank. It'll be handy. Uh, moving on back, the new uh, lid, similar to what's on the, the thresher that's out there. You see your tie downs on both sides in case you want to put a fish bag or any kind of other equipment up top. It's got your paddle uh, holder here. If you're fishing and need to slide that in there real quick, it makes it real easy. Um, moving on back a little bit. The handles for the lid, it's like you see on a lot of heavy duty coolers nowadays. They're real easy to open and, and close. If you look inside here, there's plenty of storage. I've got uh, some terminal tackle, soft plastics, uh, sunscreen, water, whatever you want to put in there. This thing will hold a lot. And it's got scupper holes in the bottom that'll keep things dry for you if you, if you choose to put those in. Back towards the middle here. On deck, probably my favorite part of the boat is the new flex pod. Uh, Real similar also what's in the Thresher if you've seen that. Neat thing is if you have both boats, this will transfer between the two seamlessly. Um, pop it out of here real quick. You can see it's a self-contained electronics unit. Uh, I've got a Lowrance Elite 5 HDI in there with a large, trans large transducer on the bottom. And you can see with the hole that's cut flush with the uh, bottom of the hole there, It'll sit right in the water without dragging on anything if you're in shallow water. Moving on back, it's got a console in the middle here that you can put pliers, tools, cups, coffee, whatever you want to put in there. Uh, it'll hold it for you. Uh, on the sides, uh, some folks are nervous about drilling in their boats. If you look on the attack, one of the nicest things is there's tons of slide track. On both sides, all the way back by the seat. Uh, even all the way to the back, and we'll get back there in a minute. But if you don't like drilling in your boat, uh, there's plenty of screw-on adapters you can use. We've got a Scotty adapter mounted right there, uh, and I'll show you some others here in a minute. Right here on the side, this is a homemade um, hog trough holder. If you fish in a lot of the uh, larger tournaments, and, and especially the circuit here in Arkansas, you have to use this kind of measuring device. One of the hardest parts is, is how you deal with that while you're on the water. It gets in the way and whatnot. A friend of mine, Tim Hodgkin, devised this little deal. It's just a piece of cutting board with some bungee in it. It goes right in the slide track, and you can pull it in and out real quick to uh, check a fish, and it holds it secure uh, while you're on the water. And I've just got a little piece of uh, pool noodle on there in case I do drop it in. One of the big changes, I, I came from a Ride 135, and one of the nice things about this boat is this open deck. Uh, standing my 135 was not a problem but in this deck as you can see it's wide open there's no cutouts like in the 135 you, there's plenty of room for your feet if you're a tall guy like me uh, you can move freely from front to back it, it's a real nice standing platform and of course you got your stand assist handle here inside the hole I've made some simple little modifications I put a, a pad eye here that I can clamp fish grips on uh, pliers or any other accessory you can lash to it it comes standard with a, another connection here that you can lash some things to. Dry storage in the middle, um, watertight. On the side, I just put a little two-sided Velcro and attach my pliers there. Uh, the new Air Pro, Pro Max seat, it's been out for you know a little over a year now, but attack comes standard with it. What's different about it is rather than sliding into the hole, it comes mounted on the slide track and you can move it forward and back, trimming the boat however you want. Uh, and of course, if you've seen the seat before, it moves up and down real easy, even into the recline position if you so desire. And I like transporting mine on a trailer. One of the problems with that is if you've got to take the seat out or it'll blow up and catch a lot of wind, I just put a little bungee around the, the straps on the back, secure that down in the middle, and you're good to go for a road trip without having to Take your seat out or adjust it in any strange way. Moving on towards the back here. I'm right handed and cast right handed so I like to keep all my rods on the left side of the boat. 
Uh, back the black pack, you can see it's set up along the back or the left side. I got two 90 degree flush mounts on the left side, and then my uh, camera if I want to take video that day. But on the right side, the tournament series here, you're allowed to troll one rod. So I put a two angled flush mounts on the right side, put it out at about a 45 degree angle to the side of the boat. So if I am moving between spots and want to troll, I, I have that option and it can easily access that rod back there. And I've also got a, a 45 degree mount, uh, angled mount straight back so that I can put my net or any other kind of accessory in there and it stay out of the way. So back here in the back tank wall of the attack, if you look at the black pack, I'm going to shake it a little bit. It is actually designed to fit that perfectly. Um, you can, I run bungees over here through these grooves and it attaches perfectly to these tie down points. But even without that, you can see that thing doesn't move, it's solid in there. Coming around to the back side, more slide track on the back and on the back hatch. Uh, I've got a Real Blaza, Real Blaza navigation light on there uh, that you can use at night. You can also put your camera back here if you want. Uh, but once again, if you don't like drilling, there's plenty of places to mount stuff on these slide tracks. Uh, I don't have a rudder on yet, that'll be coming in a later video. But, as you can see, it's pre-drilled, pre-tapped for the rudder cables. It's also got a mounting plate here if you want to put a power or a mounting space for the plate to install a power pole on the back side of the boat. All around the bank tank, back tank wheel, you'll see plenty of, of top to be able to install rod holders or any other accessories. It's, you know, it's a big canvas to work with uh, if, you, if you do like to... To install a lot of accessories, uh, there's plenty of room to do that on this boat. boat also comes pre-tapped with two holes uh, here, here, and on both sides for uh, the 3D seat that's available. Uh, it's basically a, a butt seat that you can use similar to what you would use on a power boat. As I showed before, we've got the two uh, 90 degree flush mounts here, and then six holders on the black pack itself. I like uh, to carry a lot of rods in a tournament, uh, but you can trim this down and, and, and you know add more rod holders as you go on back, or, or add less. It's up to you. But uh, this boat gives you tons of options that you can choose from. If you are like me and like to carry a lot of rods in a tournament, if there's not enough storage in that black pack or down the side, back hatch also opens up. It's got some built-in foam rod holders in there. I've got my spinning rod in there now. Also a little cut out in the middle where you can put a, a battery uh, if you want to run some electronics. Um, uh, right here on the side there's a little bungee that you can clip a parking pole or your paddle to. But like I said, it comes with a paddle holder up front. And if I'm fishing or just want to get it out of the way, I just slide it right in there and it holds it solid. More slide track down the side. Uh, great boat. I've had it out on the water. It's unbelievable. From a st stability standpoint and from a, a speed standpoint, it's even faster than my ride 135 that I came out of. Uh, hope that gives you some ideas. Uh, if you need more information, go to wildernesssystems.com uh, and, and go find my full write-up on yakfisharkansas.com. Thanks.